Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala ba'd Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he affirmed for himself in the Qur'an and in the authentic sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above his creation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above his creation and this has to do with the concept of alu that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his that in in his uh, his self subhanahu wa ta'ala is above his creation and this also deals with the concept of istawa that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem ar-rahman ala al-arsh istawa that ar-rahman meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most merciful rose above his throne what is the difference between these two characteristics al-alu is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above everything everything he created Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above his creation okay and istawa has to do specifically with the arsh that Allah rose above his throne subhanahu wa ta'ala in a manner that suits his majesty so we don't say that Allah rose above his creation but rather we restrict istawa to the arsh as Allah has restricted istawa to the arsh ar-rahman ala arsh istawa and in many ayats in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms for us that he subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne how do we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above his creation let's look at the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam especially the hadith hadith of Jariyah the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Ain Allah he said where is Allah this is what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa alayhi, uh, asked the slave girl قالت في السماء. She said, above, uh, above the heavens. This is what the slave girl said, above the heavens. And then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, من أنا? Who am I? قالت أنت رسول الله. She said, you are the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قَالْ اِعْتَقُهَا فَإِنَّهَا مُؤْمِنَ فَإِنَّهَا مُؤْمِنَ رُوَاهُ مُسْلِمَ This hadith was in Muslim. So the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, responded to the slave girl by saying, after she said, you're, you're the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, free her, for verily she is a believer. So this shows us that the Prophet ﷺ agreed with the fact that when she said that Allah, when he asked where is Allah, she said above the heaven, the Prophet ﷺ accepted that as a sahih answer, that Allah is above the heaven. Allah is above his creation. But we don't ask how he is above his creation. We don't compare his adu to uh, something in the creation being above something else. We don't know the kafiya, but we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above his creation, and we know that he rose above his throne, subhanahu wa ta'ala, in a manner that fits his majesty. And Ahl Sunnah stops there. We don't say how, we don't ask why. And we don't distort it. We don't change the meaning to something that doesn't befit the Arabic language even. For example, you have the Asha'ira and they say Estola. So they make a ta'wil. They change the meaning from Estola. Allah said Estola. But they say Estola. It means Estola. And Estola has another meaning it implies in the Arabic. It implies that before it belonged to someone else and then Allah took it by force. And that is not befitting of the creator of the heavens and earth. Nor is there evidence.
from the Quran and the Sunnah to substantiate that, nor evidence from the Arabic language to, sub to substantiate what they have made for Ta'wil. But they are afraid to affirm what Allah has affirmed about Himself. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.